day after the heavy work, when you walked inside the ashram gate, all the ducks, I didn't even see them, the ducks and the geese all started quack, 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 they were running behind. I sat and spoke to them. But when I started walking, they started walking behind me. Why, you know? Just the day before yesterday, when they came to my cottage, I gave them uh, bread, which is toasted one with a little uh, butter on it. And <laughs> one day only I, gave, I never gave them. Uh, because the kids are there, they have got their account holders for each one of the birds. I never gave them, I only talked to them. But I gave them, they came up to my cottage. And when I told them, no, I, I'm not, I don't have bread. <laughs> Just one time, the love relationship. I once went uh, into the Binamangala slum, which is uh, downtown near to Indira Nagar, where my major main school is there. So everybody said, night time, don't enter that uh, slum uh, because everybody is drunk and you will be in trouble. And I went there around evening 7.30. It is dark too. I entered the, the campus, the slum of Binamangala. A huge amount of people crowded and I could hear screams left here. I thought I am in trouble because everybody is drunk and uh, something. I just kept silence. I said, they are my people because I have been giving them pensions and rations for years to get the clothes and medicines and all the total slum. And then I could hear, oh, you are not good to Devru Pandite, you are not good to Devru Pandite. In Kannada, Anna to Devru means uh, the person who gave us food, rice, who fed us, has come. The person, the, the God has come, the God who has fed us has come. <laughs> I couldn't believe. People say, animals, you feed them, they, they are so thankful, but not human beings. But here you can find only gods in, in varieties of form. They might be very poor, but look at the heart. When the fight is different. But when I went into their temple, that the Binamangala slum, he was screaming, Anna Kutta Devru, but they, the God has come who has given us food. <laughs> that is my land. My land is so beautiful with God's varieties. Yes. Giovanni Agnelli, this is the second quote, said miracles can be made but only by sweating. The company, the field company owner, yes, said miracles but only by sweat. That is what in our Karnataka state, in our Kannada language, there is a nudimuthu. It might be a little painful to tell, but the nudimuthu goes like that. Bevaru, Bevaru, Vandilandru, Janagulu Ninne, Bevaru Sinel. means if you don't sweat today on the day, people will call you stupid. It's Bevaru means it's very big, dirty language. Not that it's dirty language. They mean when you don't sweat, you're going to die. If you don't sweat, you created the first step of your disease, first step of your laziness. You must sweat it out because the fat starts entering into your body. No work, no food, not the ordinary work in Karnataka. They believe, starting from the Mahakavi Pampa, from that uh, Rashtrakavi. Pampa, the, 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 the slogan continues. It is very, this was a court actually. They, they covered it up and locked it up somewhere. It was me who dug it back and told the public, if you don't sweat, you have no right to enter the house. If you don't sweat, you have no right to go to sleep. If you are not sweating, then you have no right to eat food or even to open your mouth. Like how if you are not pure of practicing your Sanskriti, you have no right to enter any temple. <coughs> Giovanni Agnelli understood that one. The richest man of Italy, the owner of the Fiat car company said, miracles can be made, but only by sweating. That was the miracle. That was the miracle our Hindu Shastra taught, the Yoga Shastra taught them. The first thing is Karma Yoga. 
Karma Yuga means keep doing work without expecting results. And Japanese have put it exactly right into the table from the childhood for four years of the children's training before they enter into the real school. They go to four years of cultural training, Samskriti training. And what is the Samskriti training? Every child has been taught. If you use the toilet, you should make sure that another person should be able to use it. When you come out of the toilet, another person should be able to use it. Every child in Japan has been taught from childhood that they should clean the toilet. I do not know. And you're telling this, this they learn from India. But, but then why India need to have toilet cleaners? Why should they have, have housekeepers? HK, they call it HK. Housekeepers made them to clean the toilet. Not just cleaning the toilet, it is like stainless steel. It is like not a dirt, pint of shit in a cup of vanilla, like that. Not a pint of dirt in that commode. In the, even in the floor, not a water to be spilled out. The buckets are perfect to the core. Yes. Only then you can see miracle because when the toilet is clean, Japanese told me that your India gurus told them, if the toilet is clean, you will not get any diseases. They practiced it. Then what went wrong with other parts of the world? What went wrong with India? Miracles can be made up only by sweating. You make sure not a drop of dirt in the classroom, not a drop of dirt in your house and the land and the outside it is pedicured and manicured so beautifully that is the miracle people look at them and they say ah, like Sri Devi our actress the late Mr. Sri Devi said the face is very important the presentation of the face and wherever you go you don't show your inner pain it is the smile and all the companies all the companies have taken that one quote yes it is almost like the book of the five rings, the big business, the Bible of the businessman. Here it goes, no work, no food. The Japanese master has taught them that when you, all his tools were hidden away by his disciples because he was very, very old and head of the temple, monastery, they told him not to work, we will work for you. He refused. On the third day, they returned the tools and he went and worked. And came back sweating, came back sweating like the tennis player. By one hour of playing, he removes at least three to four times his t-shirt and squeezes out the banyan. Like the Kyokushin members, by the time they practice, they close all the windows and doors. And they practice sweat after sweat. The doggy, they have to squeeze water. Just Sometimes they cannot even wear the doggy. They have to remove the dog only on the pants. You have to, then the whole floor is full of sweat water. You don't need another water to clean the floor. So much sweat comes out. And that is a miracle they found. The, the, the Zen master, after working, sweating, he, he went and sat in the dining hall and he said, no work, no food. That means you must sweat. Please sweat. Not the gymnasium sweat. Stop your gymnasium. When my country is in pain, when my country people are living in poverty, how dare you go to the gymnasium? Your land, go to the land. Outside the house, in the drains, clean up the drains. Lift the stone. You feel muscle coming up. You see six packs coming up. You, when you sweat it out, you have the cleanliness next to godliness everywhere in your house and outside the house. And then you get the feeling that you have to connect to the joint family to go and see your family tree, which has got 500 acres, 1000 acres. You go and do a karma yoga without expecting, keep doing work without expecting results. Giovanni Agnelli said, miracles can be made, but only by sweating.